hour back and join us every Saturday at Transcension Radio. Guadilla will remain a dictatorship. Or oh, be quiet. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning to order your two-month supply? Call now. Warning. Friggin' nuts. Weekdays, 5 till 7 central on American Freedom Radio. We're from Mr. 305. Yes, I am Sarah, and having a good time. A couple of points I want to finish. Since I've been interacting with Ion, Karen and I, pretty well every other day for the past year, and because I'm not dispersed in my attention uh, with engaging and being the host for many private sessions for people, uh, I, have, I have more time freedom for myself. That may be this intense one-on-one with Ion and with our secret project may be why I was able to become aware of my chemical body because it's maybe an example of what happens when you have access to Ion you know, daily almost and have the intensity of that and not have to worry how our clients responding. You know what I mean? That may be why I was able to uh, become aware of my chemical body traveling. And I also want to say that if people sound, think that we sound, what I'm talking about, and I'm, is, is part of a genre of information that Achieve Radio put out or this station called the New Age or Counterculture, I want people to say that I disagree with every commercial I hear on here. I disagree with everybody, uh, like Sean Morton and other guests you have here. What, what Ion is saying, when I say I, I mean what I understand Ion is representing. There's not one issue that's said on this station, and I haven't heard everything, but I've heard a lot of it, that is valid under the conditions I'm claiming we're living now. Only your show, the Matthew show, is the only valid thing because you're talking about our ion and RNA drops. And I'm not saying this to set up like that comedian was just saying, set up a dictatorship. I'm just telling people they have no idea what ion's about. It does not fit into any of the concepts that people hear ion say. We've, over the last three years, have observed that ION shifts. ION at least gives opposite opinions immediately. So the, the best way to look at ION is both and. Both sides of the story are presented plus more. So it's very hard to... Uh, if I started talking, and sort of speaking, what I'm trying to say ION is, I would just be gibberish. Or maybe call it glossolalia, speaking in tongues, even though that's not an accurate term. And so I say, if you want to see, visualize what we're representing, you look at a page of Fending Its Wake. You look at the book by James Joyce, published in 1939, and nobody can read that book, but there's a way of perceiving it. And it's really a great exercise or rehearsal of interacting with what I am talking about. So, just want to put that on record, that... If, if we get more and more people listening to the, your show and Matthew's show and take RNA drops, they would not listen to this station. They would not listen to any station. They'd listen just to our recordings because Ion is so various, so multidimensional, that it's enough entertainment for anybody. Yeah, I think he's the only, it's his only content worth talking about. That's right, because he challenges every meme, every system, even challenges the effect of Ion on people. Because ultimately, Ion says, to take your power, you would not require Ion or interacting with it. Right. 